Okay. Should be good. That. Oh. Trying to relax over there, Roy? Trying to get back on that. Uh, I love this funny grandma gave me. Working I out, love cardio, it. and just getting everything like Vegas through all my mojo off. Eating healthy stuff, and I've been kind of limping back in. I gotta yeah. get all the way back. Oh, I, forgot, I forgot to tell you, uh, you watch a sparring spike sometimes, right? Yeah, I haven't watched him recently, but yeah, I do like his content. But yeah. I saw that he was playing a model black deck, and it's about Claw Coffers. I don't know if I told you. I think I told Brandon, one of the other guys I play Magic with. But yeah. Ten O, and the deck looks sweet. Nice. I'll have to check that out. Hey, what's up? What's up, Matt? What'd you say? Oh, uh, Corgi. Um, I don't know. We'll see. What's up, B Rad? I hope he is, because I want to check on him. <laughs> she wants somebody to play Corgi with the Corgi skin. <laughs> she saw that one time. Oh yeah. And he's also like. Um. He's awesome. Heck yeah, I think I might try the locket. Locket rushing. I mean, locket's just like the most versatile item. You're always gonna get it. It feels like somewhere in your build. I might do slay again too. I forgot it is an overheal, basically. Wait, this says it restores health. The other one says it overheals. And that the health goes away after the two and a half seconds. To gain 20% bonus movement speed, gaining over two and a half seconds, and Wait. such and such. Great. Yes, it's bonus health. You're in champ slot? Yeah. I'm not in your group. I'm not even. You didn't invite me. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll dodge. Shit, my bad. I thought you were in there. Like, the person who's mid right now is playing his ear. Oh, that's, that's crazy. But that's not you. <laughs> okay, my bad. I'll dodge. Uh. I don't know, for some reason, I guess because we were on, ch on like, voice chat without being in the client, then I just yeah. autopiloted. Okay, I'll just dodge. Yeah. Because I'm, like, just for so long, we've, you know, when we're talking, we're, we have to be in the party, yeah, to talk to each other. Um, okay, I'm going to have to wait on that account, though, so that'll be, it'll be, like, five minutes. Yeah, I think I was just like I was trying to talk to talk to Rory and talk to the chat and then whoever was messaging me and the client. Whatever they were saying and Nice, that's cool. Yeah, we only play I usually play like two games a night, maybe three. So on the weekend I might get crazy and go for four. Nice. Okay, yeah. I was like, I don't really recognize that account, but maybe. I mean, I've got people on here from, you know, 14 years ago. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, I think it is. I, I think I finally have to admit the day has come that I never thought would be is that um, jungle is less popular, at least according to Riot here, than support. There are some nights where support is um, <coughs> support is the active or autofill protection role. Um, but far more often I do see jungle and then I'd say a decent, probably about half the time, I see ADC as being less popular than support too. So, I think a lot of the narrative changed around support. Where, you know, maybe five years ago or so, everyone just thought support sucks, they don't, just don't do anything, they just hang out and hold the ADC's hand, and you can't carry, the only way you can carry is by playing a champion that does a lot of damage and gets a lot of gold. You know, there were so many content creators who just like, don't play support, you can't win on support, you can't carry on support. But now it's changed, people realize, well, you actually you can quite a bit, right? Especially if you play engage supports, and you roam around, and you start the fights, all that kind of stuff. So it's become a lot less hated on. There's still some of that, you know, where it's like supports are e-girl type of thing, but I think there's less of that than there used to be. And there's more attention on the uh, broadcast and stuff like that to point out really good supports and to frame the narrative as certain supports carrying the game. Like, oh, this Nautilus carried the game with that Engage or this Recon just won the game for the team. So, I think it's a combination of stuff that has made support probably the third or fourth most popular role. So, it's... Versus jungle can't, and, and support is like chill too. So when people try it, usually you're you're not getting flamed as much as you would in other roles. Unless you're really fucking it up. Like a lot of people don't even like know what support does. You know. Versus like jungle, for example, you're going to get flamed all the time no matter what. Even if you're having a great game, it's like probably the worst experience you can have on League is like solo queue jungle. Uh, yeah, a lot of people don't like the budget on items, but if you're just like actually looking to win, and some like content creators are even calling support overpowered. Right, so I call support so broken, it's overpowered, you know, that kind of stuff. But like for sure, if you play in jungle, you're going to be getting harassed like 24-7 by somebody. Even if you're getting kills top lane, bottom lane's going to complain that you're not camping for them. Right, until you start getting up to higher level elos, where people actually understand a little bit about macro and cross map but like nobody wants to be weak sided everyone wants the jungler camp in their side of the map you ever miss a smite you ever get invaded and killed you know just anything bad happens they're flaming the jungle <clears throat> so I mean jungle is a very important role and it is the role where people have the most decisions so they do have a lot of responsibility so they can actually fuck a lot of stuff up but the problem is a lot of times people don't understand exactly what's optimal to be doing for the team. They're just always thinking about themselves. Yeah, but yeah, I think jungle, that that's the thing, is it's like terrible mental. It's very different from the rest of the game. Like you have to learn all this like pathing and you really have to understand macro, all this stuff. Probably the hardest role to get into sort of intellectually to understand and be, you know perform well at. But, yeah, massive carry potential at all levels of play. Um, so, but even though it's that strong, it still is one of the um, least popular roles, which is why it always gets priority queue. Um, if not the least popular role, because people just don't want to deal with that flame. And there's a lot of people out there that actually call jungle weak, too, that are usually, like, challenger-level players, and they're just pissed off they can't have an 80% win rate in Challenger. Playing their favorite champ. Hecarim or, you know, whatever. <clears throat> but no, jungle, just by the nature of how it functions in the game, is, you know, always you're going to be able to, you know, have a high level of agency in games. But yeah, support definitely can, can carry people or figure that out so yeah they don't like the low budget but some people don't 
but it is it is fun being able to like make plays i think and again it's just kind of chill right a lot of people are gonna be sitting there drinking a beer smoking a blunt you know netflix on the second monitor talking to their roommate texting somebody or whatever especially if you play you me <laughs> you know but um <laughs> It's just a little bit more chill. Like, you don't have to have the mechanics. Especially a lot of League's population is kind of aging. There are younger people that play, but it's really hard to get into League at this point. It's like, I looked at it the other day. Like, what would it take to make another account? And some people were telling me, it was like, you know, 120 hours or something. Just to even, like, get to play ranked. So that's, you know, ridiculous. That seems terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That's just ridiculous by standards today, where most games are just, you know, plug and play. You just log in, and you can just immediately start playing with your friends. And then on top of that, there's just so much to learn. There's like 160 champions and <clears throat> all of these items. It's just, it's really hard to get into. So I don't know the age of the average league player, but I would venture to guess it's probably higher than most other popular games probably like 25 or 6 or something and so as people get a little bit older or maybe they just don't have the mechanics support is probably one of the least mechanical roles for most supports because you don't have to last hit um, so that is a bonus if you're a bit older well that's true you don't have the time to get good but that's true of like any game Although I will say League does evolve very quickly. Like it gets patches every two weeks. And some of that can potentially dramatically change the meta. At least in specific roles. It can shift stuff around. So you do have to like keep up, you know, with the news. You have to keep up with what's going on. And you have to be willing to adapt a little bit. If you're trying to, you know, get to a high level. But I would say, yeah, I mean any competitive game... Right, any uh, you're playing Valorant, you're playing, you know, Call of Duty, whatever's out there that's competitive, you know, it's gonna take some practice to get good at, and even some like single player games, you know, but like with those, you can usually play it on a lower difficulty level, but, um, you know, League, I guess you can play it on a lower difficulty level if you play like normals or. A RAM or play on a Smurf or something while you learn different things, or if you just want to chill, play on a Smurf, but it's hard to make a Smurf. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, jungle is a little bit less mechanical too, sometimes. I mean, obviously, certain champions have like nice mechanics. They're like complex mechanics like Lee and stuff like that but yeah the not having to buy a smurf for seven dollars that's what I've heard I don't know how fast those things get <coughs> get banned or not if Riot just offered that service like hey we'll give you a level 30 account like you can level it on your own but you can also just buy it for twenty dollars thirty dollars whatever I think people would people would buy it they would make a lot of money off of that just skip all of the leveling for $20. If you're broke or you just want to learn the game, this is your first account, you can level it up. See if you like it. Right? But, you know, if you just want to... And, but they don't want to encourage Smurfs. That's the thing. But it's like, dude, people are going to do it anyways. They're going to buy it from these third-party vendors where it could have all kinds of problems. It could be botted. Um, exactly. Yeah. I mean, it could be botted. It could be stolen accounts. You, you know, just make it, it. There's a huge demand for it. Just sell it as a company itself. Get your money. Because um, people are going to be smurfing anyways. And sometimes it's not always bad. Sometimes you can play different roles or something. Learn different things. Like, it's hard to do that on your main account because you're going to drop. But, like, if you want to play with your friends, you want to learn different stuff, 
I think that's fine. They already have Smurf detection stuff, so, like, if you start winning a lot of games on a Smurf, like, it moves you up really fast on a new account, so it doesn't let you just terrorize silver people for very long if you're, you know, a diamond player stomping them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could do it. And then you also have the other, like, risks, right? Like, people... Now, some of those big sites are probably legit, right? But people could steal your, you know, bank account information or whatever. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Zach. Hey, what's up? Good to see you. Um, but... Yeah, it's like they're... I feel like they're leaving a lot of money on the table. Because then not only would people buy those extra accounts... And some people would do it anyways. You'd have, like... A gold person that gets hard stuff, you know, like in gold four, they, they just can't, like, whatever. And then they'll just buy another account just to, like, reset their elo and try to, you know, go up from there. So you'd have people doing that all the time. People that just feel like they're stuck and they're already, you know, kind of near the average player. Um, and then people would have to buy, like, the skins again, right? So every account they buy, if they want, you know, if they have, like, some of their favorite skins, they'd be buying their favorite skins again. Yeah, exactly. I mean, they keep buying accounts until they go 5-0 in their placements and get into, yeah, like, Emerald. I don't know. I think they fixed that. But if you go 5-0 in your placements, you get to Platinum or something and then just, like, sit on it for the rewards. So, I don't know. Just from a strictly business perspective, it feels like they would have a hell of a lot of money. And I don't think it would be... That I don't think that would be that disruptive. And you would bring in a lot of newer players, right? Who could basically play for free early on with the leveling system or whatever. And then if they like it, just drop 20 bucks or whatever. And then they just give you, you know, whatever an appropriate number would be. 20,000 Blue Essence, 30,000 Blue Essence. Just enough to buy, like, a handful of champs so you could play... Um, Our level one's pretty bad. Nah, it's just. <clears throat> I'm gonna save my ward for the crab. Uh, pick up and play is something any multiplayer. Oh yeah, of course. League is one of the only games that has like a 120 hour like curve. Like I think that if it's a if it's an account like that where you buy the boost, like I like them making you play 10 normal games or something before they let you like play ranked. Maybe maybe 5, you know, something like that. I mean, whatever. Honestly, it's not going to make that much of a difference. You're going to get your ass kicked when you start. Either way. Um, and I think that's fine. To some extent. Like, it all evens out over time. I mean, when I first started playing Season 1, I went down to, like... Used to start at 1,200 ELO. And I think I got down in the 800s. <laughs> for a little bit. Like, with plus minus 20. So I was probably in what would current day be bronze. And then I... Back in my day. I think I ended in silver. I'm pretty sure I ended in silver. Somehow. And then I, season 2, I ended in gold. And then season 3, uh... was platinum. Almost got diamond. I got platinum 1. A lot of, uh, a lot of Zyra. That was when Zyra was way stronger. And Season 4 was Nami. Season 2 was Rumble. I had a lot of Rumble games, at least for the time. I had like 688 Rumble games, I remember. Top lane. I started off doing support, then I switched to top. And then I just got tired of everybody, like, no one wanting to play support, and people just... Inting because 
They had to play support. Because back then, it was just pick order. Right? Like, top person pick. Like, there weren't assigned roles. So, usually, it was always the last person had to be support. And they hated it. And they would troll. He's gonna. I'm just wasting time. That's a pretty big waste of time. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do Locket, and then I can either do Redemption or just Knight's Vow second, depending on how much for team fighting. Yeah, Redemption plus Locket is very good for team fights. Um, yeah, I mean, I still have never cracked, like, Masters. That's just impressive, regardless of how many years you've been playing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think X number of... I mean, they could just let people play for free. I think they should say something like, okay, if you don't pay anything... Like, I think they would need to monetize it because... Like, right now, they do make some money on people buying boosts and stuff like that, right? So I feel like they would need to monetize it. Like, 20 bucks for a free account. Or, I do think 120 is a lot, even for a free account. 120 hours. I think maybe the equivalent of 10 hours, 15 hours, something like that would be a little more appropriate. It's like basically you can play and get to where you can play ranked, but um, you know you can buy it from us for two dollars an hour or something like that. Effectively, I think a lot of people would just buy it. It's just like a really outdated model. <clears throat> Pike's incoming. He got me. He's faster and he just moved. This is gonna be a disaster. I guess at least you got out. Yeah? Of course. Like, how do these people not know it? Like, I'm peeing and I'm literally typing exactly what it is. He's walking on wards, like. Yeah, I saw Pike coming the whole time. Yeah. It's like, yeah, dude, that's what happens when top lane's winning. Like, it's a bad idea. Don't do the objective. If you don't have priority and the support's running up, like, get the hell out of there. No, 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 no. I'm just trying to deny the cannon. Okay. Okay, we got her to pop go so. I'm gonna die. 
guy. All she had to literally do is just dodge a hook. And we probably could have turned it, but... I think maybe I'm supposed to shield to her and just run the hell out of there. She probably would have had a stroke if I just, like, shielded to her and W'd away and ran. But I think that was probably the actual play. Yeah, MMOs are so hard to develop. We talked about that yesterday. It's like... It's one of the most, like, time-intensive... Or dodge when you've got ghost. <laughs> I die too, man. I'm at like 20% health. We probably should have backed after pressuring tower. Nice. <clears throat> I need to just, like, literally mute at the start of every game. No, I think there is a button on tab, but I think it mutes you from talking too, so I just type mute uh, all. Okay. if he's down here or not. Okay, there he is. I try to make my way down. Good. <laughs> nice. Oh, God, Zaya wasted her ult on that. Just to try to chaos it. Alright. Sorry, right here. Okay. Nice. Well, we five-plated bots. That's good. I don't think we're going to... Well, Diana's got her ult back. He's going to try to come over and stop me. Yeah, let's go ahead and complete that. I kind of want boots, but that's pretty big buy. Yeah, exactly. It's just like maybe there's 1% of the time where somebody says something that couldn't be communicated in a ping. Like, hey, you rotate or do this. But like you said, most of the time it's, it's wrong. I feel like way more... It's a lot easier to get baited into doing something bad or just playing in a way that, you know, you probably shouldn't. Most of the time it's people, I'd say like over half the time, it's people, like you said, being mad because I didn't dive with them on a play. Because I bail on a play that's like a 3v2 versus the jungler and we're down 0-4 or something. It's like, hey, dumbass, why are you running, you little bitch? Uh, I don't know 
if we can kill them or not, maybe. Oh, he missed. Oh, if she just got that, it would have been nice, but it's all right. He's going to try to execute you, probably. Not today. All back. All right. Come here, come here, come here. All right, that's fine. I mean, I really don't have a great buy other than like wards, but what did they get before? Oh, they just got more grubs. I thought they got rift. Maybe I heard something else. I think a lot of people are still going solstice on Rakan. We'll see. I mean, the movement speed is very nice. Kane's coming down for you. I think it's just him for now. He's like right around there. Ari's coming too. Pike's heading down there too. <laughs> Can we cross map this and get this? Okay. Okay. So you can push that up. We'll see if we can kind of get Dragon in a minute. Without dying. They're probably going to be going for that, though. They're going to be in that area. At least we got a kill off it. It's alright. I mean, we did cross map it. I can't do it while it's charging. It's unfortunate. Well, at least Diana didn't die. I guess that's good. I think so. I swept it a second ago. I'm just gonna buy. We can decide. We can put this, we can get Kendall Gem and then just kind of see. You or Diana are both good targets for uh, Val, potentially. Oh, that was nice. Oh, she get both? Nice.
Get wrecked, son. That was a little risky. But. Right, shut down servers? No. League is still, even in North America, the most streamed, or like, either the first or second most streamed game. I think GTA 5, last time I looked, might be a little higher. Last month, but it's still always a top five. Usually a top three, most streamed game. And that's just in North America. That's like its least popular major region. Uh, in China and like Korea, it's like turbo popular. I don't know about Europe. I assume it's extremely popular in Europe too. So, I mean, I really don't foresee like why would it? It it's just the same type of thing. Unless they mess up a hell of a lot of balance. <clears throat> it's like the only MOBA in town, really. Like, you got Dota 2, but... Overwatch is not doing very well. Heroes of the Storm was disbanded. So it's like two of its competitors, which really... I guess Overwatch at one point was a competitor. Was pretty popular. But like two of... The only other major MOBA now that's left is Dota 2. So it's like... That helped League a lot. You know, to some extent. And it sort of demonstrates that it's a really hard market. I think my locket was like a little late. I was, uh, I think I was item locked in the middle of my W and my locket didn't go off until after I finished it. Pokemon Unite. Okay, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm not all the way up on all the new games, <laughs> but League just has a stranglehold on the MOBA genre, which is very unique and pretty popular, right? Like if there's shooters, there's quite a few popular shooters out there. And that's the most popular genre in North America. Um, but there's like a lot of competition. There's basically no competition for League. Yeah, the audience is not as big as it is for shooters, but the audience is also not as divided. And it's got a really high barrier to entry. It's just really hard to make a successful MOBA. It's very similar to like um, MMOs. Right? Where it's like basically just WoW and Final Fantasy XIV. Final Fantasy XIV finally managed to break in. Let's go get this. Okay. Careful, uh, Kali might be in there. I don't know. She probably thought we were rotating to maybe kill her, so she just left, but... Auto chess? Um... I don't know. People might. I think that TFT is okay. It's just a much more niche audience. I don't know the numbers on TFT, but... It's very rarely, like, a most streamed game, which doesn't mean it's not a great game, but... Usually most streamed heavily correlates with, like most played. I don't guess that's always the case. Like, Elden Ring wasn't a super popular game to stream, but quite a few people played it. Some games just aren't really great for streaming.
Oh, bro, I'm so hard. sorry to hear that, Black Falcon, man. You don't have to, you do not have to apologize for that, obviously. You know, we have missed you for sure. I was hoping you'd come back. Um, ideally under better circumstances. Nah, that's horrible, man. Get wrecked, noob! Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> nice. Why can I not get the Penta? No! <laughs> oh, that would've been sick if you got the Penta. Yeah, man. That sucks. Yeah, if you ever need to come hang out. I mean, obviously, I'm not a therapist or anything. There's really almost nothing you can say about that, right? But if you ever want to come out, Obviously, come out, hang out, chat with us about whatever you want, man. <clears throat> oh, yeah, no competition for TFT. Probably not. Riot makes really good games. I know people like to shit on Riot, but at least those two. I haven't played the, uh, like the card game, but those two seem to be very good, very good games. Hell yeah, minus 28 to plus 20. Let's go. Sometimes minus 50. That's sometimes minus 50. <laughs> Hold on, let me swing by the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, that was a good one. That was a goodie. Yeah. Lock it. Lock it. Slay. And then Knight's Vow, too. I mean, I needed all of that, everything to keep his ear, to keep Jason alive on that last play, so... And it's like, Akali's like, ooh, I'm gonna kill this Azir. And then it's like, alright, you gotta get through double Recon Shield, which is like 300-something. Then Guardian, which is like another 150 Shield. Then Slay's gonna heal for like 200. When you, when you charm the Pike and uh, uh, Kaisa, I like two or three, I two-tap the um, Pike and auto the Kaisa three times. It's awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're blasting. And then Locket shielded for another probably 300. And then Knight's Vow redirected 30% of the damage over to me. So it was just like healing and shielding for... And then I think I queued him and got another like 200 heal. Dude, it was nice. <laughs> it was like a 800 to 1,000 like mitigation. It was Whatever. nice. So I liked it. They are probably just like, why won't this fucking bird die? Cause the other birds flying in, right? Saying hell no to that. Man, I heard an owl outside. That's awesome. I, I, yeah. I, you have all kinds of that kind of 
weird stuff probably about your house, <laughs> just where you live at. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I've ever heard an owl before. We've got a hawk. Uh, I don't. I haven't seen the hawks back yet, but we had them last. I'm surprised last you don't year. got like bald eagles by you. Cause I remember that one time when I was down there. Remember when we went and ate at that little like. Oh yeah. Hole in the wall, and we sat in the back on the deck, and we saw two of them just dive down. Oh yeah, that was crazy. And that river, yeah, that's out near the real, uh, the real mountains probably, but, um, yeah, we were, like, we went hiking, uh, in the Smokies for a little bit, and I took it, I took Jason when he was down here last summer, that was probably my favorite few days of the summer, dude, that was a great trip, it was fun, we got the hiking, we got that game night, <coughs> the magic homies, um, but yeah, we were eating at this little like sandwich place because like the closest town to the Smokies where we were, it really has like very few options. Uh, but this little sandwich place is cool for like what it is. And uh, we we're just eating outside and it's like a couple of bald eagles just flew down in like this little like river slash creek. Um, so that was cool. What? What are you looking for? My wife said, go look at the full moon for your birthday. Oh, oh nice. Uh -huh. She said, about to turn into a werewolf. Oh, there you go. Uh, Fanny Fryer. Yeah, it's Jason's birthday here in one minute. <laughs> oh. Okay, nice. Um... Do I ever build Shirelia's and Locket? Uh, I like Locket. Locket's almost every game. Shirelia's, I haven't tried it yet. Not a lot of higher level players are doing it. Um, I don't know. Like the thing about Lock the thing that changed about Shirelia's, two things. Number one, it doesn't have HP on it anymore. It does have more AP, which Rakan does like, but it doesn't have the HP, and they got rid of the passive. So whenever you shield somebody or heal somebody, it doesn't give them that little speed boost. So I think that's the problem. So I don't think it's bad. Yes, happy birthday. Everybody in chat saying happy birthday. Oh, okay. Let me get on and say thank you. <clears throat> um, so that's what's holding it back. Although I do think it has a pretty good win rate. Um... As like a first or second item. It's just not like super popular. So yeah, it's like the fourth most picked item. But it still has like a 54% win rate. So there probably are situations, you know, if you just really need to run at them, you got a bunch of meatballs. Um, it could be good. But I think just the fact that it has like no defense on it whatsoever is kind of tricky. Whereas like most of the popular recon items are tanky. I tried Malignants uh, yesterday or the day before that. Um, just tried like a semi AP build. It was like Malignants, Ardent Sensor, but I don't think I did horribly that game, but we lost. I think I'm dodging this, bro. Okay. Oh, Ash Top. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, go ahead. Just wait a second. <clears throat> yeah, it was gonna be. That was probably gonna be a feed. Um. Yeah, I don't know what I was. What I was oh yeah, the tank is. So I've also tried like different builds. Like I thought staff of flowing water and ardent sensor would be a lot more powerful and popular, especially staff. But just like no one goes for that. Because they changed it back to the movement speed. Where whenever you shield or heal somebody, they get 10% movement speed and 30 ability power. Like, look at this. That stat line's pretty damn good on that thing. Right? It's like 40 AP. Whenever you shield somebody, you get 30 ability power. So it's basically a 70 AP item in most situations. 70 AP, 8% heal and shield, 15 ability haste, and you've got like a really powerful team buff. Especially now there's so many champions that have random AP ratios on abilities. Um, 
and everybody likes movement speed. So, I mean, that's basically the same stats as when it used to be, like, really overpowered. But it feels like you should be able to go staff, and then if you're too squishy, you could get the uh, um, little shield item as your support item to kind of protect you. Although that gets, like, poked off pretty easily. Um... So, I don't know. It's never really take off or took off. Um, I've tried it. I don't remember what my win rate is on it. I don't know if it's a rush or not. But. What, staff of holding water? No, I'm sorry. I'm talking uh -oh. oh, you're good. Yep, you're late. Because, you know, there's like at least six to eight people that already wished me happy birthday before you did. <laughs> It's all right. She'll probably be able to give you a happier birthday than any of us will be, so. This is true. <laughs> you just pay me back later. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Don't worry, I will. Okay. <laughs> On that note, I'm calling the stream. No, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't blame you. Um, but, okay, yeah. Can we get, are we, we got three minutes, okay. Um. Three minutes? That's perfect, boys. I'm just Three kidding. minutes, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, honey, I got a three-minute dodge. I got a three-minute dodge. <laughs> I got a three-minute window. <laughs> it's perfect. Three, oh. three minutes of paradise. Right. Um... So, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of different items I've tried on him, but... I really... A lot of people like Zeke's. Zeke's is very popular. I think it's, like, first item. It's... It's, like, second? Yeah. But I don't know. I just don't... Like, the stat line on it's pretty good, but it's, like, the active is, like... I mean, it looks nice. Maybe I just haven't tried it enough. Like, it feels like the slow is good, but you're... You, very rarely want to sit in there and apply the slow. Like, you kind of want to get the hell out after you engage so you don't get blown up. And it's like, a lot of times you're running at them first. Right? Yeah, I guess if you have a dive comp, you're going to run them over. Maybe that makes sense. Um, but, like, you're running at them with your ult first a lot of times just to try to, like, dodge stuff or just to get to a situation. So you're probably going to miss, like, at least two ticks of it on average of the damage and then the damage really doesn't scale or like literally doesn't scale at all so it's okay versus like lock it you know that has even a better stat line right because it's got magic resist on it same health doesn't have mana who cares it's got five less or ten less ability haste okay that is relevant but it's like lock it is instead of averaging 150 damage to probably one person, like Zeke's, maybe two, um, then you're able to shield at least two different people, you and one other person, usually way more than that, um, for much higher numbers. Like, you're able to shield for, you know, 600 to 800. So, I, I don't know. I'm a big fan of Locket opening, even though it has, like the lowest win rate of like the four big items that people pick okay i think we're good you good jason you guys done yeah we're good let's go <laughs> no i guess we got 40 seconds um didn't mean to cheat you out of your 40 seconds there yeah. but uh <laughs> that's right <laughs> um but that, that just, like, you have other follow-ups. I think Redemption is really underrated as a third item, too. It's pretty good. Like, if you want it for team fights, because the extra healing and shielding, if you already have Locket, applies to Locket, applies to Guardian, obviously Recon Shields, his Q. Even, well, I guess it doesn't apply to Solstice Slay healing. Because um, that's an infusion of health. But it's good. 
you're squishier with that, so you can't be against a really squishy team. But Knight's Val is another one that's like really good with Lockett too, because it's already like protecting them some, and Lockett's going to give them more protection. So I just feel like Lockett's like the most versatile one. Trailblazer is good, especially if you're roaming around, but it doesn't have the ability haste, and it doesn't do anything to protect allies. Like, it's just kind of you running around, and if someone runs with you, they move, like, faster too, which is kind of cool. So it's great for rotations, but it is more expensive. Uh, it's 300 more expensive than the other options, and has the same HP now. A little bit more armor, but it doesn't have magic resist, doesn't have ability haste. So... But they're all pretty good. What's the win rate on these uh, support items? People still do it. Like Zaza has a way lower win rate though. I've thought about the claw, but the numbers just weren't that impressive. Slay felt pretty good that game. I thought Slay was most popular, even after the nerfs. It's the second most popular. I mean, 20% movement speed is still pretty good. Celestial Opposition. They did lower the cooldown on this. It was like 18 seconds now. Uh, that scales with item CDR, but you almost never get that. I don't, I don't think it scales with normal CDR. Or does it? Does anyone know? Because I know there are like some items I think that might but I don't, I don't think it does I guess it splits oh you got Jin nice um most tanks either get this celestial opposition reduces all incoming damage by 35% for 2 seconds so if that doesn't get poked off that's pretty good um so that's kind of the like really defensive option that people will go, but Solstice Slay is the other one where it heals you and the nearest most injured person or gives you an infusion of health for two and a half seconds and gives you and them movement speed. So that's the one that kind of can protect other people. Rakan can also get Dream Maker, which... Um, protect somebody so the next instance of incoming damage on somebody else between 75 to 225 based on level and their next auto attack deals 50 to 170 and it's a really low cooldown it's 8 second cooldown um, so you can in kind of extended fights if you can get 2 of those off that's pretty big um, but even be able to protect one other person for like 75 to 255 is more than the health you're going to get off Souls to Slay. So, but it's only one person versus Slay is two people, and they get the movement speed. But this one gives them the damage, and if you can get it off twice, it's pretty big. That doesn't do anything to true damage either, in the edge cases where that matters. But yeah, those are kind of your options there. It's usually this is usually an enchanter item, obviously, but Rakan can do it too. As a defensive item. What are we where are we getting something weird bottom? Guess I'm gonna get Guess I'll keep Fawn. I don't know. Demolish can usually give you like one or two plates. Yeah, so they, they did get rid of Radiant. Radiant was so good, though. Like, it was, it was pretty overpowered, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so, yeah, nothing that... Tank support item. Oh, I thought you meant the, um, like, ward item. No, as far as, like, tanky items... Yeah, Radiant got nerfed, but... I think Locket's still pretty good. Locket, Knight's Vow, 
Um, Frozen Heart was like turbo OP for a little bit. They dropped it down to 2300 gold. They've since like nerfed it back up to 2500. But I, I think tanks probably have the best support items. I don't know. AP items are pretty good. Or they were. They've been nerfed. Like Zazak and the Leandre's rework on like Brandon Zyra. Enchanter items I thought would be good, but Enchanters, they're doing okay, honestly. It's pretty balanced. It's in one of the most balanced states in a long time. I think you can win with high-pressure AP supports. I think you can win with Enchanters. I think you can win with tanks or, like, Engage champs. I'm partial to Engage, but I think they all have pretty good items. Um, <clears throat> the meta for like pro and really high level player I, I mean obviously you know like you actually play up there but feels to me like it's double ranged like hard push at least that's what I feel like I see in pro all the time although there are uh, engage is also played some like Nautilus I think is quite popular Recon is quite popular But for a while there, it was like the Ash support, um, you know, things like that. That might just be like, I know SKT does that all the time. But I think the most played is probably still Engage for most supports. But it feels, for Pro, like pretty diverse. Different stuff being played. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Galia's tripping. What? <laughs> My bad. I thought I had the, uh... That's fine. I can't really uh, all in super well until level three, anyways. Yeah, if he misses one of those dashes, though, once I'm three, we can definitely right. pop him. Dude, I wish Galio was more relevant as support. I, I would like to play him. He'd be cool. He should be able to go over a wall with his E, at least. It's like, come on, man. It's so slow. Like, just give him some nice old quality of life buffs like that. That'd help him so much with, like, vision. Mm, I can't get him. Okay. She's like practically killing herself to try to damage me. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get him. Let's push him in, I guess. <clears throat> we got uh, a bunch of stuff though. Think I'm not 100% sure he ignited, but. <clears throat> Okay, nice. That shouldn't have any mana to last hit under tower. So we can back on this wave. <clears throat> Is he? I feel like he's not that great. But maybe I'm just a hater. I haven't seen him since his rework, but it looked like mostly nerfs, or like his changes. But it looked like mostly nerfs to me. I think they should lower the well. It is a semi global, so they probably can't lower the cooldown as ult too much. Give him a little. I think they should like try to push him to be more tank. Like nerf his damage, but like make his. W better. Something like that. I mean, he used to be kind of niche, like anti mage tank. Which is sort of interesting, but. Yeah, 
she's gonna try to back here. Okay, yeah. Or, er, yeah, okay, that's fine. Vice is back in two. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I need to, I guess I'm supposed to push this. I don't know. It's kind of awkward, but we're going to do dragon. I should have probably been pushing earlier. No, bro, we don't can prio. W, I don't yet. I got, I got it. Okay. Nice. I don't have anything. Okay, that's nice. It feels like I never talk about our jungler invading the jungle and dying. Okay. Cast it in back. <clears throat> Tarek, that you really like Tarek? Yeah, I remember he did. He's gonna be okay, I guess. Galio's level four. It's fine. We got ignite. We fine. She backed, I guess. <clears throat> back <clears throat> he's probably gonna freeze it there but uh, I, I need to buy um they don't have that much CC I'm just gonna get Ionian and probably complain if I get sunwalked by Galio nice well, you, you've got the uh You've got those pocket supports. <clears throat> yeah, it's gonna be rough. Their team kind of scales. Aatrox is sort of skill dependent. Yeah, Ori's pretty, pretty good though. Okay, I've got. Oh yeah. She's up levels on him at least, but. I don't know where, yeah. No, please don't die to Galio. Could be able to get that, I don't think, or no, he's just gonna R away. Is he? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Nice. Got him, coach. You're gonna be down levels, but... That's fine. Um... I mean, yeah, you got three kills. I think you're good. I really wanted to kill Cass. Yeah. Oh, dude, you can get her pretty big. <laughs> Shit. Miss Clay. <clears throat> oh, nice. Oh. Maybe. Nice. Sniping. No, cast. Fuck. No, 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 no. I don't know. Let's not play with that. Got Galio behind him. Okay. If you hit the W, I don't have to okay. Down. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, probably like up here. They're all here. Yeah, that's all good. Ha! Huh. Or he's just like farming up mid. I mean, if we can keep stalling without dying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> all the dodges. Oh, Nocturne's still here. Yeah. And <laughs> that's what we need. Right here? Yep, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, he just walks in. Good try, we can push in. Yeah. Oof, it's not great. No, it's back. Damn, if I had upgraded Slay, I don't remember when I... I think I just got it. If I had Slay, you would have probably gotten out there with the movement speed. That's all good. But I, I, definitely, I stayed way too long. Yeah. <clears throat> Malignance on Cassidy, huh? Interesting. The fuck? Man, Aatrox is ahead top, so that's really good. Let's go. We got a top. That's fine. Oh, what? He saw me there and he still went? Okay. That's annoying.
Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I knew Nocturne was going to show up, I just wasn't paying attention to the Cassidy. <clears throat> What's up, Black Ted? Let's push this up, then we get that. I know. With disrespect. God. Well, I think that worked out. Hey, thanks, Black Tide. Yeah, it is Jason's birthday. Um, all right, we'll we'll decide what we want to do here in a second. We're gonna do vow or redemption. I'm a little afraid of like the cast it in one shot. Later. Nice. But these fights are dragging out to be pretty long. I feel like Redemption's going to have time to go off, probably. And like, the healing just to keep up Viego or Aatrox, like, if they get resets... Okay. Uh, drag's not for... 28 seconds, but... We don't have a wave here, yeah. Well, nah, I just back it up. Okay. Damn, I didn't get an assist on it. Fuck. Can overstayed. I guess I'll just go with Redemption. Hey, thanks, B Rad. Great to see you again, buddy. Glad to hear you're back up in Diamond. And stop by whenever you have a sec. It's always good to hang out and chill with you. Hell. I'm coming. I'm going to be a little late, though. Oh my god. Okay. If we could have done anything though at that point just you versus three people yeah probably not happening <clears throat> mm, where 
they gonna do? They're just gonna push middle, probably. Give uh, Aatrox some TP. Well, he doesn't have his TP, but. Just two people pushing mid? Where is that? Oh my god. God, that fucking champion. He's not even 16 yet. He's like made of paper, though. He has no HP at all. Maybe I should have gone Bow or something. I'll give it a second. Always buyer's remorse. I'm a little squishier with this build, but... Yeah, I probably should have... I don't know, I just wasn't watching that close enough. What's up, Cam? You gotta start watching out for Nocturne plus Galio on things. It's a fun combo. Okay. Nocturne's probably gonna try to turn this, but I think we'll get there. Oh my god. How tanky is that Nocturne? It feels like... I don't know how we didn't fucking kill him. So Cassidy came up lane? Because the last time I saw him, he was like here. And then somehow it looked like he came from like here. And like ulted onto people. Because he didn't come through the tri bush where the ward was. I was sneaky AF, unless that was a glitch on the minimap, and he really wasn't over there. I dusted too. Like, we hit dust in that direction and it didn't spot him. I guess maybe he went from there, like, straight up to the tier 2 tower and then just walked along the wall the whole time. Even though the wave was already pushed. I don't know. I guess. You know, he just, everybody knew there's gonna be a fight. Oh my god. not expecting four in that bush. I guess I should have. They weren't in any other lanes. And I was like with somebody, so I was like, if it's like two people or three people. Okay.
That gator does like no damage. up we gotta push out and try to go contest that fucking hell seriously I got you I think, well, that's going to be a problem when he comes in, though. Yeah. Well, he's got two towers. Oh, he's taking tower shots. I think that was definitely worth, though. Gonna be annoying. He is, yeah, it's so hard to peel that. I mean, I can, but I have to like, I don't know, that's what I'll try to do. Yeah, Nocturne ult with Galio like ulting on top of him is kind of hard to deal with, especially with Cassidy like following up on that. I mean, yeah, they're over here. They're all gonna be in this bush. I, I, we can't contest without Diego, anyways. You have a blue ward. I mean, we're trying, but they're all. I don't think they're on it now. Maybe not, but let's be careful in that bush. I can't. Okay. Slow, dude, slow. Uh -oh. Back here. Shit. They all just jump on me. Yeah, you might. He's just gonna get double inhibitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta just do it, right? Yeah, as long as Aatrox can keep him off the base. We should be able to bear and back. Yeah. I guess I'm not doing that much here. I can just go ahead and go back. Well, I guess there's no point in me doing a long back because I'm getting bear and back anyways, but Hey, at least my wards are still there. Barely. Or somebody's wards are. Oh, he's low. God. I mean, at least that's a shitty one, but... We just killed Cassidy too. We, well, I don't think we could have won with the supers coming in, but Wait. 
wait on inhibs. It's hard to blow him up, but he doesn't have Rod. He does have Zanyas, which is annoying. And Frozen Heart. But at least he doesn't have Rod. Okay, he's up there. Okay. Diego, okay, Diego has some defense. He's got Sterix Wits. Please tell me this fucking clown dies for that. Okay, well, she traded herself for me, but... Or... I know, I couldn't get over there fast enough. We just gotta stay closer together. It makes it really hard for me to like get figure out what's going on unless you're standing right next to me with uh, the nocturnal. I can't really see like where to flash shield. Yeah, it was it was tough. We were really far ahead, but then they just got too many items, and so the dive just came in. I don't know. Maybe I just should have just sat like in your back pocket and just said, "Well, if someone else got to do something." But yeah, we probably should have found some way to be closer together, one way or another. We were still like cleaning it up. Like, there's a couple times they used everything on you, and then like Viego and Aatrox could clean it up. But <clears throat> the Cassidan was just carrying them too hard, and the Nocturnal. But. Anyways, rough ending. I thought you did well. It's just it's so hard to do the deal with that, you know, crap at the end there. But we did win last game, though, Matt. But are you still there, Jason? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Okay, yeah, yeah, you're good. But uh, <laughs> I got to head off and get to the uh, get up in the morning with the kids. But uh, rough ending there, but at least we went 50-50 tonight. That's an improvement. That one was definitely winnable. Um, I don't know. I have to think about it. But either way, happy birthday, man. Hope you and the wife and family have a great time. And uh, I'll catch you next time. See ya. Yeah, I mean, maybe I... I don't know. I'd have to go back and watch. Maybe I should be hanging back and try to peel for him more. I was trying to establish vision, but they, like, dove the Tier 2 tower with, like, just Nocturne. I don't know if Kassadin was there or not. I thought we had eyes on Kassadin. Maybe he just went went in on the nocturnal. Like it was just hard to see. But maybe while I was fighting over that vision, the Cassidy just went in with the nocturne. So I feel like Nocturne himself couldn't really kill Jason, probably. But maybe the Cassidy was down there too. They're diving like level two tower, and they also had Kaisa who can dive. So this had a pretty brutal dive comp. The Galio seemed pretty pretty worthless in my opinion. I mean, like his ult kind of did some stuff at some point, but. I don't know. I was definitely in the wrong place, wrong time a couple of times. Like, most of that game, I was like, oh, one and, I, I don't know, 12 or something. Like, I was doing a really good job. And then once Kassadin got so fed, he just came and cleaned everybody up a few times. But anyways, that's it for me. So, sorry, Deshane. I know you just rolled up, but I got to head out, um, take the kids to school in the morning. But um, I'll be back tomorrow. Try to get on a little bit earlier if I can. I don't know if Jason's going to get on or not because it's his birthday, but we'll, we'll see what happens. But um, 
Anyways, we'll be back tomorrow, hopefully around like 10.30, 11 o'clock, something like that. And um, have a good day, and we'll see everybody next time.